doesn't, as you say, always have to be power attack, but as long as they're hitting in a downward direction, the Danes then do look very impressive. 13, yeah, they're just forcing mistakes now. They're just forcing mistakes out to the Indonesians with the change of pace and the change of angle. Very, very intelligent play. Ooh, 75. Hardest smash of the match so far. 171 miles per hour. Service over. 6 Thirteen. Service over. Fourteen. I think Marcus Kido is going through a difficult patch at the moment. Seems to be making one or two errors. Yeah, the bad run that they had at the start of the set actually started with him being faulted with the service. And it looks as though he's just broken his concentration a little bit. Oh, out. Good judgment. 15-7. Oh, looks as if we might go to three games here. Oof, what good judgment. Cool, by the line judge too. Clever oh, serve, isn't it? Seven. Instead of serving to the tee, just serving out wide, just mixing it up. There was too many power smashes at the beginning of that rally from Rasmussen. Eight. Yes, a little bit strange. I had a lot of success with the drops where he hit five consecutive smashes and just seemed to uh, feel that a little bit physically. Quite a surprise, that rally. Oh, yeah, that's nice. 9-16. Big gap down that forehand side. Yeah, you're right about losing his confidence after maybe getting caught on that serve because he wouldn't normally miss one like that. No, Marcus seems to have almost let this game go now. He seems to be playing very lethargically since that service uh, service fault call. Good defence. So too is that. Oh, magnificent. The touch of an Olympic champion there, super piece of class there. Just guiding the shuttle across. 10, 17. Beautiful control. Oh. Yeah. Brushing across the shuttle to keep it straight, causing over. deception. 18, 10. Yeah. 
it away. It's over. 11 18. Lars Porskat, absolutely brilliant. And again at the start of the Close rally, over. just a little sign 19, of a loss of confidence 11. for Marcus Kiddo there. Didn't go for the short serve, went for the flick serve. He's maybe a little bit nervous about being faulted twice now for the shot on short service. Two points now, the Danes from this second game. physically oh. that is just exquisite great touch again from Seti one super close 12 19 holding the shuttle there the owner's caught completely off guard in defence yeah, not surprising that all four men ask for a quick timeout. Going to the side of the court, towel down. Big gulp of liquid. Again, Jill, a little bit surprised at the start of the point with the owners forcing the attack again, having had so much success with the drop shot and the, the half smashes. But again, he seemed intent on trying to get the smash through the defence rather than playing around the defence. Indra Setiawan, most definitely the outstanding player in the Indonesian partnership. 12 of the 15 winning shots coming from his racket. As far as the Danes are concerned, absolutely level. And the winners apiece. Yeah, that's a good play. So, that gives the Danes... Game point, 12. Eight game points to level this semi-final at one game apiece. <laughs> Seems to be a slight hesitation there. Over. Yeah, he's not happy with himself. 13, 20. It is one game all, one game apiece. 21-13, that second game. One game all. And there you can see, one game all, just 34 minutes played for two games. Well, everything to play for now. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you?